All right, guys. Today I'm doing a quick video, show you guys how to install your content manager for your PS Vita. I got a new 64 gig uh, memory card, but there was a uh, Visual Studio um, C++ error, uh, and it's actually quite common. Uh, so if you guys have that problem, and uh, I'm just going to give you a quick fix on it. Um, it. Took me a while to figure it out, but there is a help page on the PlayStation. Okay, if you guys could check out that link there. Okay, so. Basically, what you're going to need to do is actually quite simple. Um, you need to install two files from Microsoft. These two files. Right there. And basically, you're just going to need to install the pack. I, and um, there's instructions there. Um, there's instructions right on this right here, this post. Um, pretty straightforward. Once you've installed it, the uh, that error will go away and then uh, you're pretty much good to go and then you can use content manager again on your PS Vita to transfer the files over so that's what I'm going to be doing right now okay so I have it all set up here um, just making the connection right now and content manager is set up uh, I'm going to be transferring 32 gigs into the 64 gig I'll show you how to install it as well Alright, so once you have it all set up on the computer, all you do is plug in your PS Vita and then you can choose between content manager, uh, the content manager, copy content, or manage content on the memory card. Um, so if you want to make a backup, you just hit, hit the copy content part and then it'll transfer all to your computer and then basically you put your 64 gig memory card in and then you just copy it back. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so I'm currently backing up my data. You see this right here? 22 gigs. Um, it's going to take a while. I'll be back. All right, uh, it's about halfway done, guys. It's a long hour, I'll tell you that. Um, so just I'll let you, I'll let you know as soon as it finishes here. Okay, so it's finally done. Backup is complete, and let's just hit OK here. That is that. So now I'm gonna be transferring um, my new. Uh, memory card in so just give me a minute okay so let's take the memory card out right there uh, so that's just a lot to take it out so you put that uh, take the old one out uh, hopefully I can do this there we go Actually, it's quite hard to get it one-handed out, so there we go. So if you, as you can see, I had a 32 gig in here, okay? And I am going to be putting my 64 in right now. And, you know, the 64 is quite expensive. Um, if you really want to upgrade it, you can, but, uh, you know, I have, it's quite expensive to upgrade. Um, but, you know, if you think about it, uh, it's probably the last memory. It's probably the only memory card you'll ever need. So I sort of wish they came out with uh, a 64 before I got my 32, but um, but that was not an option. So here is the 64, as you guys can see, and let's put that in here. And that's it. So I'm gonna actually need to format that uh, the 32, and then uh, I'll be back. So I'm gonna install this first. Okay, so I just have it uh, my 64 gig right in now. You just hit restore, and there's the one I just backed up here, and hit that, and hit next. Continue, yes. There you go, okay, and restore. 20 gigs, it's gonna be a while. So I'll be back. Okay, so it's done right now. System will start. Give it a minute here.
and there we go. As you can see, my Borderlands 2, everything is back into where it usually is. Um, Alright guys, uh, that is how you um, set up your um, restore on a new memory card. If you have any questions, comments guys, post them below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.